what it's called. I'm going to show you here in just a second. It's it's never just an ordinary full moon. Okay, going from Kalama over to Hermiston. This was the view earlier tonight from Tim Ledbetter showing us a beautiful cow jumping over the moon. Not quite, not quite, but pretty close. Hey, it's called the July Buck Moon. Why is it called that? Well, that's when the, you know, this is the time of year when bucks get their antlers and then those antlers eventually go from having the velvet covering to shedding the velvet and then it's those nice shiny antlers if you're into bucks. That's what the full moon is all about. Okay, so Ridgefield right now is 63 degrees, but a 70 in Portland. Pretty comfortable evening for a stroll out and about. 67 now, wind is out of the northwest at 8 miles per hour. Your sunset time, that was at 8.50, sun rising just a few minutes after 5.40. Okay, so 36 days now without any rain. Are we setting any records? No, we're not, but look at our drought conditions. We get updates every Thursday, and of course, as you might guess, they're looking worse. More than half the state is dealing with the extreme drought category, the exceptional drought category. That makes up about 17% of our state. Of course, it's most of the West dealing with drought conditions, anywhere from extreme to moderate to exceptional. Now that drought stretches all the way out to Wisconsin. How about that smoke though? We're gonna see a small change in our wind direction. Now, what does that mean for our winds aloft? Well, that smoke is going to be drifting a little bit further out, which means it'll look a bit hazier. That doesn't necessarily mean though that it's going to be reaching the ground. So look at this. Out from Eugene, stretching across the Cascades down towards Medford, some high level smoke possible as we get into Saturday. What about at the surface from the bootleg fire right here? We're expecting the wind direction to go from the southeast to the northeast, dragging some of that wildfire smoke at the surface out towards Medford, but not actually reaching the Willamette Valley at that point. We would need some stronger winds at the surface to get there. Your planner for tomorrow, your high in the gorge, right around 80 to 83 degrees, Central Oregon, upper 80s, Eastern Oregon, low 90s. If you're going to be uh, doing a little hike in the gorge, get out there early, low 60s, daytime highs back to the 90s. Hey, all kinds of cool science behind our fires. If you want to learn more about pyrocumulus clouds and how that develops, go to coin.com forward slash weather kids for the latest weather lesson there. Seven day forecast does include some 90s here. That's this weekend. A small break the middle of next week and then next Thursday and Friday we're climbing back up the ladder to the low 90s. And I know you'll watch that closely, Natasha. Thank you.